Let's consider alerting or mental tasking during vestibular tests. Usually patients are kept alert by asking them questions during parts of the test that evaluate the vestibular ocular reflex. These tests are usually performed in the absence of vision. For example, in the caloric test, in the position test, in the spontaneous nystagmus test, or the rotation chair test. The reason for alerting is that in the absence of alerting, vestibular nystagmus seems to be suppressed in some patients. This concept is counterintuitive because the vestibular ocular reflex is supposed to be a reflexive mechanism that should not require conscious control. It's been suggested that alerting in ENG is related to the Bell's phenomena. In the Bell's phenomena, the eyes move upward in the socket when the eyes are closed. This has been suggested as the main reason for the suppression of the nystagmus in the absence of alerting. This is the reason that some clinicians suggest performing ENG with eyes open in complete darkness. This is also the reason that some clinicians suggest alerting is not required in VNG because the entire test is performed with eyes open. Surprisingly, suppression of vestibular nystagmus occurs even in VNG contrary to the above hypothesis. Let's examine the physiologic basis for alerting. Vestibular nystagmus has two components. The slow component is generated by the vestibular system and it moves the eyes in the opposite direction of the actual or perceived head motion. This component is generated at the brainstem level and is reflexive. The vestibular nystagmus also has a fast component that's generated by the saccadic system. The role of the fast component is to reset the eyes toward the center when they approach the orbital limit. This component requires higher level cortical function and does not seem to be reflexive. Suppression of vestibular nystagmus in the absence of alerting appears to be related to the loss of the fast component of nystagmus. This can be seen in comatose patients who have intact brain stem. These patients exhibit slow drift of the eyes during the ice water caloric or the doll's eyes test. But the fast component of nystagmus is absent in these patients because of the loss of the cortical level function. So based on that explanation, let's discuss some practical guides for alerting. Patient alertness should be maintained at a constant level in any vestibular test that's performed in the absence of vision. Otherwise, the eyes may drift to one side and stay there and therefore suppress the nystagmus. Alerting is not required in, in tests performed with vision. In these tests, usually fixation targets are present and these targets prevent the eyes from staying to one side. The best alerting tasks seem to be moderately challenging interactive tasks that require memory recall, such as naming colors, states, flowers, and similar tasks. Simple counting tasks and math tasks don't appear to be as effective.